In the United States, there are several states that have struggled with poverty for years. Despite various initiatives, economic development programs, and government support, some states still face significant challenges in reducing poverty levels. In this video, we will be highlighting the 10 poorest states in the U.S. in 2023 based on the latest statistics. Number 10. Tennessee Among Tennessee's problems are its high poverty rate of 13.9%, high unemployment, and one of the lowest median household incomes in the country, just $58,000, despite the fact that it's risen substantially from 2014's level of $44,400. The state has faced several economic challenges, including a decline in manufacturing jobs and low wages, which have contributed to its poverty levels. Add to that the fact that it has the third highest percentage of its population receiving food stamps, 17.6%, and it's clear that Tennessee has a ways to go to provide for its residents. Number 9. Nevada Nevada is a very interesting state. It ranks as the ninth poorest in the nation, but has varying levels of wealth across the entire state. Las Vegas and Reno are all filled with wealthy, successful people, but also have some high levels of income inequality. The rest of the state's population is pretty poor and way underemployed relative to the rest of the country. You could drive three hours and see completely different pockets of success in Nevada. The poverty level sits at 12.9%, while unemployment measures 7.12%, the worst in the country. People here work very, very hard, but due to the lack of thriving new technology and a poor education system, it remains one of the poorer states in the nation. Number 8. South Carolina South Carolina had no place to go but up in median household income, which rose significantly from 2014's $45,000 to hit $56,000 in 2022. But that's not enough to solve all the state's money problems. The state also copes with a huge unemployment rate and an even higher poverty rate, 14.1%. The one bright spot is the low cost of living, which on average is almost 10% lower than across the country. That's reflected in the lower cost of housing too. Homes run more than $40,000 less than the national median. Number 7. Kentucky Kentucky has a poverty rate of 15.3%, ranking 7th on our list. The state has faced several economic challenges, including a decline in coal mining, which has affected employment rates. It can be tough to get ahead in Kentucky, despite the fact that its median household income of $56,600 a year has increased since 2014. Part of the problem could be a lack of college degrees among its residents. In 2017, just 23.3% of all adults had a bachelor's degree, and that's considerably lower than the national college attainment rate of 30.6%. Number 6. Alabama Lots of people in Alabama are bro to the oak. Families here bring in about $46,000 as a household annually, earning about $1,000 less than the average household each month. Oh, and about one in five residents live in poverty here. The United Nations usually does research on poverty across the world, but recently visited parts of America to see how bad poverty is here. Their first stop, Alabama. Their report was quite compelling and discussed conditions similar to what we see abroad. Number 5. West Virginia The poverty rate is 18% in West Virginia, and families bring in about $44,000 a year. Both are very low numbers. However, a couple bright spots keep West Virginians from ranking as even poorer. The unemployment rate isn't so bad here, so that's good. And the cost of living is so low here that low salaries mean more families can get by and remain out of poverty. However, when Walmart is your state's biggest employer, 
that's indicative of a struggling worker base. West Virginia is in a tough spot. I mean, it's a beautiful state, but all those rolling hills means it's hard to build big cities and industry. Migration studies have shown that 60% more people moved out of West Virginia than moved in. And West Virginia is the only state where death rates exceed birth rates. Number 4. Arkansas The fourth poorest state in the U.S. is Arkansas. Arkansas's median household income is the second lowest at $52,000. The state's overall poverty rate is 16% and 21.7% of the state's children live in poverty. Arkansas's obesity rate is 37.4%, which is the third highest among all the states, behind only West Virginia and Mississippi. Life expectancy in the state is also among the lowest in the nation. Number 3. New Mexico in New Mexico, 20% of residents live in poverty, and families bring in about $46,000 a year. That's about $10,000 less than the national average. One in three kids live in poverty here, which is one big reason that New Mexico ranked last in the nation for places to raise a family. When you look at the nation's most federally dependent states, New Mexico is at the top. That means New Mexico can't collect enough from income taxes and must rely on federal subsidies in order to help pay for schools, roads, health care, and welfare programs. Apparently, though, things are getting worse in New Mexico, not better. More young working-age adults are leaving the state than coming into it, which means more and more federal assistance will be needed down the road. Number 2. Louisiana the next stop takes us to Louisiana. Here, more than 19% of residents live in poverty, and families command a yearly paycheck of around $46,000. That's not enough for many people here to climb the success ladder. Louisiana also has the second highest rate of childhood poverty, with 26.8% of its children living at or below the poverty line. Educational attainment rates are very low, with 86.9% of residents having a high school education and only 27.2% holding a bachelor's degree or higher. Other statistics that are eye-opening? Uh, Louisiana is last in the nation for income gap by gender, um, Louisianians are third worst for food insecurity and third worst for education scores. Louisiana's abundant natural resources is a blessing and a curse. While the state enjoys the windfalls that come with oil and natural gas extraction, many of its residents have become dependent on the energy sector for a paycheck, and it's not going to last forever. And number one, Mississippi. We're here in Mississippi, the nation's first poorest state. In Mississippi, 19.4% of people live in poverty, meaning one in four families earns less than about $25,000 annually. That's the same poverty rate as the African nation of Namibia. Now that's poor. Factors that contribute to the very poor atmosphere here are a 6.85% unemployment rate, and up until a couple years ago, one in four Mississippians wasn't finishing high school. It's hard to get ahead when you don't study. When you Google Mississippi, the first auto suggest is why is Mississippi so poor? So why is Mississippi so poor? Well, for many of the reasons we've already talked about before. It's just worse here than anywhere else. Poor education and limited job opportunities are a huge factor. High incarceration rates and a history of racial segregation has also held back a large percentage of the population. For many Mississippians, it's a generational problem. And for quite a few of them, a government safety net of welfare and unemployment makes being poor a lifetime goal.